Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I took out the two round puzzles I got in the month of April. So again I couldn't decide which one to do first and uh, so I decided to do both of them for one video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, my first round puzzles ever and um, there are so much difference between the two. The only thing that's similar between them is the fact that they are both round and um, they are both beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. So without further delay, here's the time lapses and I'll uh, talk to you further during the time lapses. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate. Take care. Bye. Okay. First puzzle, Iduka, 500 pieces. The name of the puzzle is Little Friends and the artist is only credited as Mitchell. Initially, I did a full flip here. I thought that I might um, determine the center pieces and start from the center, but I soon realized that um, it won't be possible at first glance. So I took out the edge pieces and um, put those together. Uh, there was enough of a difference in the textures and the colors to get that to get together quite easily. So I started with the most obvious colors and textures. The yellow flowers here at the end, the sign board there at the top of that um, bird's head, the handle of that, what do you call it, bucket. The, the wooden texture stood out quite well. Then the rest of the yellow flowers and the dark purple. And after the dark purple, the um, the lilac, small little light purple colored flowers went well together. As well, um, the ground texture was quite obvious. So everything about this puzzle was easy to me. Um, the... Puzzle pieces went in the round, so there's clear circles, and as they get closer to the center, you can see how they become smaller, and um, that helped a lot to determine, like for instance, the ground pieces, if it's closer to the center or closer to the edge, um, based on the shape of the puzzle piece, and um, you'll see the the outer part of this puzzle went much easier than the center for some other reason i struggled a little bit with that inner circle that inner center but um as soon as i figured out the the actual center pieces it's four pieces that made up the center so once i got that figured out the rest of the puzzle went quite well um yeah the artwork is absolutely beautiful i'll show you here in a minute the um the shape of the, the, the pieces, the rounds and the center piece, that four pieces that makes up the center. Then you can see um, the difference between this one and the next one. It's completely different. Nothing about the pieces and the cut or the way it was assembled is, is remotely the same. So yeah, this is the little friends. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. I absolutely love this puzzle. There you can see all in the round, the pieces go closer to the edge, out to the center, they become smaller. And, um, yeah, the edge piece, oh, the center, sorry, why do I keep referring to the edge? The center pieces there you can see, it's um, four pieces that, oddly shaped pieces that made up the center. So once that's in, it was quite easy to assemble. So let me know how you, you like this one. Second puzzle is a small puzzle, um, Country Comforts. The artist of this puzzle is not credited in the puzzle or in the box. So I'm not quite sure about that. Again, initially I did a, did a full flip. So you can see there, all the center pieces are exactly the same. Same shape, same size, same everything. So this immediately I determined nothing going in the round with this. So the center part of this puzzle will be as a normal puzzle. Then we've got this funky shaped um, pieces, which um, 
I eventually figured out went to the edge. We touched to the edge. So, um, and then the edge pieces. And just look at that. Odd sizes, odd shapes. Look at that very, very tiny little pieces. I am in awe that over the years this um, puzzle did not lose any pieces. It was actually 100% complete. Just look at that. So yeah, um, it was quite obvious I won't be able to start with the edge. So I started with whatever jumped out at me from the center pieces. In this case it was the sunflowers and as they touched to the edge I was also able to put in that little part of the edge. Um, as I went with the center pieces, I was able to, to put in the edge pieces as well. So, yeah, like I said, very, very different from the previous one, which went all in the round. And this one was basically a normal puzzle, just cut in a circle. I enjoyed it, though. It um, didn't take away from the enjoyment, even though it was not what I expected. Um, the art with artwork made this very enjoyable there was so many different colors and textures um quilts and pillows and fabric the cats the teddy bears every teddy bear was dressed differently so again this is the most beautiful artwork i enjoyed the puzzle so much even though it was different um the cat the the colorful cat with the white and the brown and the black is probably the part that I struggled with the most because of the fur but it was like 10 pieces to complete that cat so it wasn't a big deal um then next I moved to the quilt and then the teddy bear picnic here at the bottom um I will include a piece of the video um with a close-up so you can you can see that it's so cute so yeah just completing it as a normal puzzle, um, sections at a time, I didn't sort because um, usually I prefer to be able to see all the pieces, especially with the smaller puzzles. So it was easy enough not to sort and just determine what I need. Put those in. Um, yeah, it went well quite, it went together quite well. The wooden floor was the section with the most pieces, but I didn't have any trouble with that. It went well. Um, I had to finish the inside and then did the um, edge pieces. Like I said, 100% complete, even though some of that pieces are so tiny. So yeah, there's the teddy bear picnic. Isn't that cute? And all the cats and the quilts beautiful artwork i will do my best to um, find out who is the artist of this and then um, i will just write it in here if i do find out i wish the publishers of the puzzles will include the artists more frequently so yeah please let me know if there is a favorite between the two if you like one of them more than the other but i won't blame you if you can't choose because they are equally beautiful I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.